Yeah, we'll just okay. go straight in and click the green button. That's fine. Perfect. We'll start right here. Now, here's what we here's what we can do. We can um let's let let's play around with the with with the awareness. Let's play around with the reach um um objective for the next. All right. And, and and the whole the whole objective with reach the whole it's not conversions it's not lead capture, um, uh-huh. it's reach. Reach is is a form of of what we did with the intro video. The whole objective with that is to was to run it under video views to capture your custom audience. Reach is also that same strategy. It's to run reach, not put a lot of money, just a few bucks towards it, run it at a, at a low budget. Um, but, but it's so important because reach would allow you also to capture the custom audience. See that again, that's what we spoke about in the beginning was the fact that you're running ads every week to a cold audience. We have to start retargeting our custom audiences. So okay. with this one, with reach this week, I think it's, I think it'd be important to, to build okay. that and see if we can get a few thousand people to see the video. Um, okay. Now, video views is normally how we would do it, but I want to test reach. Let's test reach. Let's test reach and, and see if we can build an even bigger custom audience um, because that's what this is all about. It's all about retargeting your custom audiences. That's how your cost per lead drops. But we don't know how much of a custom audience we have yet, do we? No, not yet. We well, we could look at them. We could look at them. But the whole the whole strategy with you was to run conversion from the beginning and run it for run it for run it for a month or so. And, and that, that alone, like, for example, the YouTube video that you brought up, the, you know, watching the other day, that was all about, I was talking about in that video, running ads for at least two to three months. Now right. I didn't say, but then, and then I also said in the video where I don't mean you won't be capturing leads in, in until, you know, three months, but mm-hmm. what happens, you'll start capturing leads like you are, you know, you're capturing here and there, but mm-hmm. capture even more by your third or fourth and on month, for example, because you would now have such a big custom audience. If you're right. running ads consistently for three months, yes, okay, so maybe not the most amount of leads came in, but what crazy, what, what was crazy, well, what, what could be crazy on the back end that came in was all the data in the custom audiences. That's what it's all about. So now as you go on from, let's just say month number three and on, that's where you now start to see an ROI. You know, okay. and, and, and look at and do the basic math, do the basic math, even if you carried on at the budget that you're spending now, and you did that for three months, I'm willing to bet that that total cost, it would still only take one deal. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Right? Like, ser- like, like, do the math, do the math. If you, of if, course. If you, that, right? Like, like. Right. Mm-hmm. Like even if you were spending 700 a month, 800, let's say, let's say a thousand a month and we did it for mm-hmm. three months. That's three grand. Okay. On my fourth month, I finally close a deal. Yeah. We don't make more than three grand a deal. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Absolutely. So it's like, so, so that's why most when they're in this, when they're in the negative already, let's just say 700 and they're like, holy shit, David, I don't know if I can keep this up. It's like, dude, okay, I get it. If you're not selling high ticket, then yeah, it's harder. That's why people that are selling, you know, on shop, they're selling like on websites, selling random products here and there. A lot of those guys yeah. can't afford to run ads because they're, they wouldn't be in a profit at all. When you're right. running ads, it's good to have a high ticket sell. That's why I'm right. going into solar. That's yeah. why you're in real estate. That's why I encourage real estate because it's like, damn, even if it took a couple months and we just get one damn deal, that would make up for it all. You David, know? 17 years ago when I was a new realtor and I left a corporate brokerage, mm-hmm. I, uh, I didn't know how I was going to get buyers. And at that time, of course, I, um, I asked my broker and there wasn't, the internet was not a big deal. Mm-hmm. So he said, Chris, home magazines. And I was putting a half page ad in homes and land, and it was costing me um, over 500 a month. And that was 17 years ago. Wow. And I was doing it and I got business from it, so. Wow, wow. And that was that was 500 a month way back then. So here's what right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you to stay focused and go at least 500 a month today in 2021 on Facebook ads. Yeah. Like that, that's all that you stay at that number, stay at 500 budget, 500 Christine for the next couple months. 
budget. Yeah, but I did get deals. I did get deals though from that. Heck um, yeah, heck yeah. And so what I want to do here is let's run this reach ad. Let's, okay. We're going to run it on a video. And again, the whole objective is to capture a custom audience. That's what we need is we need more custom audiences. We need the brand awareness. We need the reach. We need people to, to, to get familiar with your face and your brand. Um, and then we start, and then we start running conversions again to re but, but at that point, that's when we're retargeting the custom audiences and, and having a better cost per lead. So homeowners, I think so. In parentheses, yeah, go ahead and finish whatever you're writing. But after, at the end, in parentheses, reach. And nobody's going to see this, right? No, this is internal. So, um, oh, okay, wait. I didn't need that in parentheses. Reach is going to go in parentheses. Yeah, reach. I'm so, homeowners, reach. here's what I do. And then in parentheses, reach. Okay. Okay. okay, that's the reach. That's the objective. Okay, so wait, scroll down. You got more titles. So you got um, the ad set, which which I normally just title the, the the location. So where we're targeting, maybe even put the the the, the dollar amount. Which which I'm gonna have you put. I'm gonna have you put ten dollars a day, not fifteen. Let's just do ten dollars a day, and we'll do it for the next few days. So, um, and what is what's the objective or the look? Locate, yeah, the location, which is just the address, 15 miles. And again, this is just a brief description, you know. And then the ad, you could just put video, you know, um, homeowners, here's what I do, video. Yeah, or listing video. Yeah, listing video. Okay. Perfect. Continue. So so that's step one. Now, as we come in here to, to finalize step one, now we got to choose the, uh, the, the, actually, you know what? Oh yeah, we still got to go special ad category, housing for real estate, um, employment, credit, social issues for anything else. But yeah, so we'll scroll down. We'll make sure that this campaign budget optimization is off and that's yeah. step one. Next. So, so we're going to hit next. And then now we're on the second step. So over here, we want to just make sure the Facebook page is there. Um, the daily budget, we're going to just go 10 bucks a day, just 10 bucks a day. Um, oh, know, that last one, I was only doing five, maybe? What's that? That last one, it looks like I was only doing $5 a day. No wonder why. No, no, no. That, that last one, you were doing 15 a day. This is a whole different oh. one. So they're just, that was just there by default. Okay. But um, six tomorrow. Yeah. Always the next day, 6 a.m. And then um, how long do you want to run it? Um, I don't know. What do you say? Five, five um, days? What's that? Five days? Yeah. So just go, go, yeah, go five days, same end time, same start time. And then let's just change the um, end, end yeah, when? Same, same 6 a.m. Oh, okay. And let's change the daily budget. Let's change that to lifetime and we'll just put 50. So lifetime, and then and then let's go 50 in that dollar amount. Perfect. And then down in the audiences, you'll just simply, um, and you know what? With the actual um, exclude, we'll always exclude. So so we're not gonna we're not gonna retarget any custom audiences. Actually, you know what? Yes, we are. We actually are. We actually are. So go ahead and click inside there the custom audiences. Let's let's retarget. Let's 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 retarget the intro video. Where's your intro video? Intro video twenty five percent. Put that in there. Really? Intro really? video. Actually, all the twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Yeah, yeah. Put those in. Let's let's retarget those ones. The other twenty five percent, and then. Um, I don't see the. Oh, here. Selling season. Yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna exclude. We're going to exclude seller guide leads. So click out click out and then click on exclude. And then you're excluding your seller guide leads. And then as you start to get appointments, you'll start to exclude that that audience as well. This one? Okay. Yep, seller guide leads, you're always excluding. What's that? Is that the only one I'm excluding just the seller guide leads? Yeah, until you start getting appointments and then you start excluding that audience. Okay. Okay. So um, scroll down. So click out of that. You got to always click out because you got to see what's below this. Okay. So now people living in, 
why don't you go hit the drop down or actually know what that's the one you want to start going with that's the one you want to start going with people living in or recently in recently? this location really yeah, just, just go with i i i mean it's kind of it, it's, it's all testing and it's like okay no. no you're going for sellers you're going for sellers so go people living in this location change that out people yeah, live, always go with people living in this location for okay, sellers yeah for sure so change okay. out the United States, X that out, and just put in the new address. Okay, perfect. So now, no detailed targeting needed, but languages, go ahead and, go ahead and, go ahead and put in English, and then you don't need age, gender. You, you can't even change those in housing. So scroll down. And you know what? Here, here's what we're going to do here. We're going we're gonna to go away from automatic placement. We're going to go away from automatic placement. We're going to go manual placement. And we're going to uncheck a lot of this, a lot of the, a lot of these these options. Uncheck okay. Instagram, uncheck audience network, and scroll down. And now we're gonna we're gonna uncheck um, we're gonna uncheck uh, video feeds, Facebook video feeds. Uncheck that. We're gonna only be in the news feed, Facebook news feed. Okay. We're gonna only be in the marketplace, and then we're gonna only be in the Facebook stories. Scroll down, make sure those are the only three checked. Scroll down, uncheck anything else. David. Yeah, scroll David, down. I lost you. Okay, so uh, Facebook scroll down. Stories. Take away the search results, uncheck all of that. So the, the in stream, Facebook in stream. Oh, I just, what about, oh, that's okay. Uncheck that. I want to check Instagram too one day. Yes. Cuz I Uncheck see a lot of this yep. no on Instagram. We will scroll okay. down. Okay, cool. And that's all. So so now go back up. Let's look at it real quick. The edit placement. Scroll back up. Let's look at what we're, what we what we got. Down down to the placement. Down to the placement. So we edit placement and now it's only running on the in the Facebook news feed. Scroll down. It's only Facebook? scroll down. It's only running in the right. Facebook news feed. The um the 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 Facebook stories and and I thought the marketplace too. Scroll back up, go back up to the marketplace. You oh, I think I said Facebook it. marketplace. Those are the three. Okay, so Facebook newsfeed, Facebook marketplace, and Facebook stories, and that's okay. it. Okay, so now scroll down, and that's it. That's step two, um, and then hit next. Now, third and final step. We already posted the video on the business page. You always want to do that first. So then now we can just come over here and then simply go to um, add setup, click on create add, and you're going to go with use existing post. And then all we're going to do is look for that post, select post, click right there, select post, down, uh, where? right there, there we go. And then all we'll do is look for that post, which is, yeah, should be that one, perfect. And then hit continue. And then... Over here, we'll just scroll down. We will um, go down a little lower. So there's the call to action button. Oh, yeah, see the title. I guess there's no title, no headline. So that's fine. So now we'll just add the button. So click on that. You're going to just simply grab your landing page link and go with the learn more call to action and then update post. So we'll grab the link. We'll put it in. Um, Right the website now. URL, update the post, and then we'll just check our uh, tracking, what? which is our pixel update post, and then we'll, uh, scroll down. So there's the the pixel, um, and then and then click on. See, this happens at times. This happens. This ha I see this happen many many times. Okay. What you have to do is check the box website events. You see how it's unchecked. Okay. It always okay. has to be checked. And then your pixel will show right there. Okay? okay. So that always has to be checked. Publish, and then that's it. So after you publish, here's what you want to do right away. Here's what you want to do like right away is you want to now go and let's um, X out of this real quick. So just. Um, why does it say multiple items published? It's, it's because these, that's why I keep referring to the three tabs, the three oh, steps. Okay. It's all about these three tabs. Each one is its own little asset. So that's what it's publishing. It's publishing each tab. It's publishing each setting on each tab. 
So um, what you want to do right away. So now, now we published it. It's set to go. It's in review. Now it's set to go live, you know, tomorrow at our scheduled mm -hmm. time. So now we'll right. come here and click the three lines. This is the, mo you want to do this right after the very next second, click on, on the three lines, and then you're going to do, you're going to go to audiences. And all we want to do is create a custom audience. So we're going to create it around that new video. Now, I didn't do that the last time I did an ad. I have to do that every time I do an ad. Well, yeah, I'm sure you did. That's how we have the other two 25 percenters. But you're saying you may have a third. No, I don't know. Yes, I didn't so know. Here are our audiences. And as you're navigating through Facebook, as you're clicking on the three lines, clicking on different things, you always want to make sure you're in the right account, which you are. And you'll see that, see that in the top right, right? Austin's Boutique Realtor. So these are oh, your yeah. are your custom audiences. The spring selling season update, 25%. That's a video. Oh. The intro video, 25%. That's a video. Um, and then I don't know if, you have, if, if you're referring to the third ad you may have done where you did not. Oh, yes, yes, I did. I didn't do this. Okay. So yeah, oh. setting up. Setting up the audience is so, so important. That's what this is all about, is the audiences. People that are watching our videos and people who are landing on the, the, the web page but not opting in. Those are your two biggest audiences. And then, and then, of course, the leads, that's your seller guide leads, but that's an audience you'll always exclude. So, that, so how do I um, – do I have to set up an audience or it automatically sets up? No, that's what we're doing right now. Click the blue button, create audience. We have to do it. Create audience. Oh, I did that last time. Okay. You didn't do it last time, but we did it all these other times right there. Click on I custom see. audience. Yeah, you'll get this recording. So so this this is one video right here that you'll want to master because this is all it's yeah. it is. So now click on um click on video. So we're gonna go video. These are all the different places where you can create a custom audience. See what we did is we done we've done website and we've done we've done video, but as we were talking about earlier regarding, you know, title company and, and, and list, that would be under customer list. So what we would do is we would get a, a list, let's say, of, of a few thousand people who have all sold in this zip code. Or okay. we'll get a list of thousands of people who have all purchased, either one. So whether I, I, I choose five zip codes, okay, cool. There's five zip codes, boom, I get that list. I get that okay. list emailed to me in an Excel spreadsheet in a CSV file, right? Title company, they'll just email it to me. Okay, cool. Now I get that CSV file and I upload it to a customer list. I upload it. And now okay. I take that audience and I automatically right away. Now it's a custom audience. It's a custom mm -hmm. audience under customer list. Now it's a custom audience, but here's the power. Here's, here's where we're able to just fast forward and, 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 and shoot to the future. Here's what we end up doing because we have a custom audience that big. Now these custom audiences that we that we currently have, X out of this real quick. X out of this. The custom audiences that we currently have, KB Core, Spring Selling Season Update, Scheduled Appointments, Seller Guide Leads. These custom audiences that we currently have are so small, it's not even funny. Wow. So if I got a list, for example, so so if I got a list, if I got a uh -huh. list from a title company of 6,000 people, I take yeah. that. Now let's click on the blue button, create audience. Let's go back to custom audience. I would take that list of let's say 5,000 people and I would upload it under customer list. Now mm -hmm. automatically I have a few thousand people in a custom audience, but mm -hmm. here's the magic. Here's the magic. Here's how we fast forward into the future. Here's the magic. Because the audience is that big, we can now automatically turn it into what Facebook calls a lookalike audience. Mm, so, yeah. so now I'm able to tell Facebook Here's a, a couple thousand people who all look exactly like my ideal customer. Uh -huh. Go and find me, Facebook. Go and find me a million more people who resemble them. Yeah. So whenever you hear about, and I talk about this on that, on that YouTube video, I say whenever you hear about anyone succeeding with Facebook ads and actually building a huge business off of Facebook and Instagram ads, it's because they're targeting look-alike audiences so yeah. this way the way the way the average person will do it is what we're doing is where we're running all these ads to create these custom audiences to then retarget that's kind of the long route that's right. the long route and that's where most people can't afford and most people don't have the patience and most people don't stay consistent that's what that whole video was about 
So because people don't stay consistent long enough, they never build their own custom audiences. So if we don't have the budget to even do that, if we don't have the patience to even do that, okay, cool. I'm giving you the the magic. Go straight to a, go straight to a broker. Go straight to a lead broker, or go straight to a title company, um, and and get a list. Get a list. Get a list of seven thousand people. Take that list, upload it as a customer list, turn it into a custom audience, and clone the damn thing right away. Which is a look like. Okay. I'll do the how best. You can start. That that's that's the magic. That's what it's all about. So, okay. so again, just in in this case, starting from scratch, we're just going the long route. You know, and, and we're create and we're running ads to create our own custom audiences, which can seem like forever. But when you look at everything in hindsight, it's not like it's really been forever. It's mm-hmm. been maybe a month, over a month, a little over a month, not maybe I don't even think it's been two months yet. So For us, yeah. oh I think so. I think it's been since a uh, couple months. February. Yeah, a couple so so now now it's time to start retargeting custom audiences. That's what it's all about. So, so this one, this video, every video, start creating these audiences. Hit next. That's what it's all about. Is the custom audiences. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the drop down, choose a content type, and go with twenty five percent. You can now. Here's the deal. I did tell you this before. I did mention this to, to you before about the fifteen second, about the first right. fifteen seconds. Is making sure that we give some good juicy you know, tips in that first 15 seconds, setting the expectation, setting the table on on what to expect, right? In the first 15 seconds, if you can focus on that and, and, and keep that up, then creating audiences around 15 seconds would be, would be, would be even better. So, so why don't we do that from this point on go with 15 seconds from this point on uncheck the, uncheck the 25. Yeah, uncheck the uncheck. Yeah. So so let's from this point on, we're only going 15 seconds. Click on choose videos right in the top right. Choose videos and just choose that video. Top right. Choose video. Oh. So let's check that box. We'll click on confirm. And then we'll give it a name. And the retention, you can um, I wouldn't go 365. And and this again, today's training is all. It is the blueprint. So I'll send you this recording. This is the blueprint. The blueprint is 15 seconds. The blueprint on the retention is going to be is going to be 45 days, 45 days, 45 days. If, if, if a person has watched that video in the past 45 days, put them in the cell. Oh, okay. Right. So anything past 45 days, and if that person just saw you once, they may not even remember you. They, they may not even be worth putting in a custom audience to retarget. You know what I mean? So I want people to still remember me. And, and, and that's the retention. So audience name, just go ahead and give it a name, whatever video that is, you know, and then in parentheses, you could just put um, 15 seconds. So quick description of the video and, and, and in parentheses, 15, 15 sec- seconds. It's either, it's either called 15 seconds or it's called through play, whatever. So that's perfect. Okay. So create audience. And that's it. So that's that's what we'll start going with is 15 seconds. And 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 again, this is reach. So the whole the whole objective here is to is to build up this audience right here. So we can then use that audience to retarget under conversions and get a better cost per lead and actually get more leads. It's okay. retargeting, retargeting, retargeting. So find out. So go ahead and create audience, and that's it. I don't need to put any um, description, right? No, no. So that audience is now being built. So click done. See, so look, hold up, hold up real quick. Real, don't, don't, don't click. Create lookalike. We could. So if that was a customer list, we mm-hmm. would have the same notification right here. And then automatically, boom, we'd go straight into create a lookalike. Really? And now, now we're telling Facebook, here's a, a list of, of, a, of a couple thousand people. Go find me a million more that resemble them who have wow. the same buying patterns, who are clicking on the same websites, who are searching the same websites. Facebook has all these data points wow. and, and one huge way they have all these, all these data points is because, is because, um, 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 a Facebook pixel is on most websites today. Oh yeah. So they know that's what makes them know. Gotcha. That's one, that's one huge way they know because everyone right. and their mother who has an actual website today, at least has a Facebook pixel. Even if they're not running Facebook ads, they at least have a Facebook pixel on their site today. 
especially right. anybody creating websites, anyone building websites, anyone designing websites for real estate companies. Today, anyone doing that knows to put a pixel on the damn page. That's right. why even your company pages, there's pixels on those pages, right? Because right. the developer is, is at least that smart enough, smart enough to know it, to put a, at least put a pixel, even if you're not running ads, at least put a pixel. So um, yeah, so Facebook, that's how, if you give them a list of 2000 people, it's like, man, they're going to go find 2 million that, are, that, that have the same clicking patterns as, as those people. That's a lookalike. Um, so when you could target those yep. types of people who, who, who look like that, then yeah, it could be powerful. It could be powerful. Now, now you're running ads targeting people who are, who, are, who are thinking of selling and interested in selling and are homeowners just like that other list. Yeah, that, that would be great. It's crazy. I got, I got to get a custom audience yeah. list. So that's that. That's, that's setting up a reach ad to set up a custom audience. Um, okay. and, 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 then, and then we'll go from there. So let's chat after this ad. Should I hit done? That's it. Done and, and done. And so we're ready. It's going to run. That's it. Rock and roll.